Hey, what's up, everyone? Saints fan back again with this week's episode of Fashion Friday. And today I have some amazing outfits to share with you guys. We have some Red Dead Redemption 2 outfits since the new trailer was released yesterday. And then we also have a bunch of cool outfits if you like playing with your friends and you want to be all coordinated with each other and have some really awesome outfits. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you have your own outfit you want to submit for a future episode, just go on Twitter and tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF. With all that being said, hopping in to the first one, we're going to start with those Red Dead Redemption 2 outfits. This first one from Spinner906 is called Arthur Morgan. So I guess he's basing it off the character, the main character from the trailer. And I don't know. I, I don't exactly see the resemblance. So maybe I would just title it Random Red Dead Redemption Character. But it definitely looks like a character out of Red Dead Redemption. And you can see to make it, you need the pale blue cuff shirt, the black cashmere coat, the gray fitted jeans, black boonie down hat, and the brown cowboy boots. Maybe if you combine this with some of the older weapons in the game, like the revolver, like maybe the musket, even though it's a little too old, something along those lines, I think, would be really good with this outfit. This next one from 40 Piano 96 on Reddit, this one is probably my favorite one, and it sort of resembles the outfit that they had in the trailer, that a bunch of the characters had in the trailer during the train sequence, when they were about to rob the train. And to make this one, you can see you need the black bowler hat, the paisley bandana, the charcoal wool coat, the black fitted jeans, the brown cowboy boots, and the brown leather gloves. I think there is a little glitch required to get the bandana without the glasses, but... Apart from that, it's a relatively simple outfit. Speaking of glitches, actually, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do an updated clothing glitch guide. I haven't done one of those in quite some time, and I know a lot of people always ask, you know, what steps do I need to do to get this outfit to work, or how do I get this outfit to work? So if you guys are interested in an updated clothing guide where I go over, like, all the clothing glitches that are working then i'll definitely do that if, you, if there are enough people that want to see now moving on to the outfits that if you use them with your friends then it'll make your entire crew look badass and this first bunch is from clutch it as always he makes some freaking awesome outfits and he made a series called the diamondback mob and you can see in this picture right here these are the different ones we have we have the boss the pale face the trigger man the security the enforcer the collector and the hustler so if you have like a motorcycle club and you have eight people in it you know each person could have a different outfit and they could have a different role so if you really like the role playing aspect these outfits are freaking phenomenal so going through the list you can see this one is the boss and pretty formal looking outfit there is a lot of green in these outfits because that's what sort of ties them all in together the next one is the pale face this one i'm not a huge fan of just because i don't like that mask at all but if you want one for, let's say, like a heist robbery or something, and, you know, you want to role play where you have to wear a mask, then this is a, a really good option. Here we have the Trigger Man. This is probably one of my favorites because it's just, I don't know, it's it's really simple, but it just comes together really nicely. And I like the subtle green to it. Next one is the Security. So this one pretty much looks like a security man you got the all black sort of suit and pants with the white shirt the green tie the black and green shoes with the glasses then we have the enforcer this one's another really cool one this one i like just because especially with those gloves it just it feels like i mean like the name suggests you go out and beat people up for some reason so i like that one here we have the collector this one's another cool one this one i think is more suited to people like running drugs it has the clothing for that sort of activity and then the final one is the hustler this one is more of a street outfit and you can see it's more of a casual uh outfit not as formal as some of these other ones and it just looks phenomenal as well and the green obviously on it matches all the greens in the rest of this collection so if you want a bunch of really cool outfits that you and your crew can maybe decide who gets what I think this is a really, really awesome set. Now, the next set we actually have from Andre. This one is called the Raid World War II Crew. So if you want to be a World War II crew, especially using some of the older planes that came out in the Smuggler's Run DLC, you and your four friends could dress up like these people. So the Sterling, you can see which you need to make it there. Pretty cool. Got the, uh, the black leather hoodie with the ceo pants so you are gonna have to glitch those on then we have the wolf gang and this one's kind of a, a neat one 
there the the sort of charcoal shirt with the green and then the camo on the pants here we have i guess that's called the rivet rive i don't know how you say that but more of a traditional sort of military ish looking outfit and then we have the kurgan which i have no idea what that means i'm sure it has something to do with world war ii but again you can see kind of a cool looking outfit so that's another collection that you may want to end up having if you like role playing or playing as world war ii players and then here's an extra World War II player, if you want, or character outfit, if you want. This one's from I'm Cham Bam, and I don't know exactly what it's called, but you can see it definitely goes well with the, uh, the, the Kalahari, I think it's called, the car in the back there. And it's just a pretty nice outfit with the green, with the beige, it looks like, shirt, or the off-white business shirt, and then the new cap. Now getting away from some of those outfits, switching to another gear, we have this one from Jared, and it's called The Cup. And I know we've done plenty of these in the past, but this one does include the uh, the new hat that was added in the Smuggler's Run DLC, and I think it actually looks pretty nice. I mean, it's as close as you're going to get to a cop, because unfortunately Rockstar will never allow us to purchase the cop outfits, for, or even save the cop outfits for some unknown reason, but... If you like role playing as cops and your cop outfit did get deleted from your saved outfits, then this might be a great alternative. Next one from Brett Brown. This one is a freaking awesome military looking outfit. I just, I love the colors here that they all go together. Like that hat with that mask, with the ski goggles, with this shirt, that looks really good. And then combining it with those camo pants and then the camo gloves, I think that looks even better. So if you're looking for a different look for your military outfit, then that might be a really fun one to choose. Next one is from Harry and it's called Gun for Hire. And it's, like the name suggests, I mean, it's like sort of like a mercenary style outfit. You got the beret there with the clear goggles, the long stealth jacket it looks like with the gray body armor. It's fairly simple, but it does look nice. Moving on, we have this one from Arnold. It's called the Guffy Hoodie. And I love the color scheme here, the white and the red. I also love what he did there, like on the face part with the hat and then the mask. And I know not everyone will like this sort of outfit, but if you are into the outfits that stand out, this is definitely one of them. And then I think the last one we have for the, the males this week is this one from Josh, and it's called the Good versus Evil Rider. You can see what you need to make it there on the left. And it's a pretty nice looking all white outfit, motorcycle outfit that has some sort of color in it. I like the red and the blue on the backpack and then on the helmet. So if you like motorcycle style outfits, then that one might be a, a fun one to use for the next few weeks. Now some of the female outfits this week, we have this one from Mexican GB Minister. And I believe this one is called the Valkyrie and it's based off of, I think that's from Rainbow Six Siege. And it actually looks pretty damn good. So I know last week I showed you guys an outfit from rainbow six siege for your female characters but if you want another really awesome military style outfit then this is a really great one then we have this one from aaron mountaineer it's the 1940s female gangster and i absolutely love these sort of old school outfits and this one honestly looks fairly simple to make it's just a bunch of navy and silver stuff but it does look really nice in the end here we have one from cage called the bounty hunter you got the white tux with the the black pants nice white and black outfit and then the final one from Harry is called Women's Stealth, and it's just a stealth outfit for, you know, nighttime usage. You have the black, you have the body armor with the night vision goggles. So there you guys have it. That was this week's episode. Thank you all for watching. Halloween is coming up in about a month, so get the, uh, you know, start thinking of some Halloween outfits for that episode of Fashion Friday, because I always like seeing what people can come up with for Halloween. But thank you all. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. Like I said, if you have your own outfit you want to submit, tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.